Hello guys. Uh, product review muna tayo, ano? Um, before that, uh, shout out muna kay sa mga Chewies. Uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, helping me out um, reaching the 120 mark subscribers dito sa channel. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, moving on. Uh, previously, napag-usapan natin ng about EGR. So, nakita, pinakita ko din sa inyo kung ano yung um, effects sa uh, makina ninyo in uh, long term pag napabayaan. So, na-mention ko din uh, some of the people or, or the old method na pag-eliminate uh, ng suit na nabumuo sa um, intake manifold is blanking the pipe. So, ngayon, ang... Uh, uh, introduce ko sa inyo ang uh, uh, product uh, came from Australia way sa Australia no? sobrang layo talaga uh, kasi ma ano din ang Isuzu D-Max doon eh uh, medyo sikat din kaya they device a way na paano ma-blank ang EGR electronically uh, yung plates kasi um, that's on the mechanical side eh. but this one is in the uh, no, electronic side so this is the Munji Munji siya and as you can see it's for Isuzu meron din tayo for Mitsubishi Ayan, for the 56 yung makina for Strada yung mga ganyan so this item Ito siya. Ito ang laman niyan sa loob ng box. Uh, it's a uh, uh, small item, no? Uh, small item lang pero makikita nyo dyan. Uh, dito sa picture na papakita ko. Yung, well, engineered siya. So, makikita nyo yung cable is very thick. It can withstand vibration. It can withstand heat. And also, in both ends, may kita nyo, it's a thick plastic, no? Uh, thick plastic siya na uh, hindi agad uh, lumulutong pagdating sa heat. Uh, also, here sa picture, may kita nyo, sa loob ng connection yan, is merong rubber. So, dielectric grease plus the rubber, it will make it a very good water resistant uh, terminals, no? Or yung connection niya. So, safer sa electronics. Kasi pinag-uusapan natin dito is uh, um, electronic, no? So, uh, there. Uh, um, naisip nyo kung paano siya ilagay. Uh, actually, very simple lang. It will take like 5 minutes uh, pa para ikabit ito. Uh, all you have to do is disconnect your MAF that's the mass airflow um, then ikakabit nyo to in between uh, and then you're good to go so bakit sa MAF sensor if EGR ang ini-eliminate natin uh, or dinidelete natin for, for good well kasi sa Australia and other parts of the world um, tampering EGR is against the law so hindi mo pwede i uh, galawin yan Kasi they have uh, strict restrictions there pagdating sa emission. So, there are other ways naman, ano? Na hindi lang naman porkit EGR yan is sa stand alone um, system. Hindi ganun yun. Well, it also acts or communicates with the MAF sensor. So, ang ano natin, ang EGR natin, it opens at 15 degrees Celsius. Kahit naka-idle ka yan, bubukas yan. Um, yun yung communication niya with the MAF sensor. When I say 15 degrees, 15 degrees yung air temperature na nasa sak ng MAF or na detect ng MAF sensor na dumadaan sa kanya. And if it pass that threshold, bubukas si EGR. The solenoid and stuff. And lahat yan. So, the, the other way para hindi or sumara lang ang solenoid ng uh, EGR is tampering the the MAF sensor doon by decreasing uh, sa threshold uh, pag sinaksak nyo to 
uh, makikita ninyo naka-steady yung intake air temperature ninyo at 2 degrees so hindi na siya gagalaw dyan and that way yung EGR sensor ninyo naka-shut down lang siya 100% So, ayan. So, since na-mention natin na naka-shut down yung EGR ninyo, 100%, uh, dun sa mga vehicles na wala pang blanking plates, you don't need to put plates na, no? Kasi yung solenoid mismo, nakasarado na. Uh, o, o parang uh, overkill na pagka ganun. So, ganun siya ka-effective. You don't need plates na para uh, paganahin yung, or madilit totally yung EGR. Um, or yung uh, cycle ng EGR from exhaust to intake manifold. So, pretty much very easy lang, no? I uh, will show you some of our clips uh, or previous clips na kung paano namin kinabit ito sa Isuzu D-MAX. Uh, actually, yung pagkabit nito is like less than a minute and the rest is puro biruan na lang. So, yun yung Uh, ganun siya kadali ikabit and of course uh, it's an engineered product talaga siya uh, na, na makikita ninyo and I've been using this by the way for 6 uh, months na 6 uh, months ko na siyang ginagamit um, also uh, nakakatulong din to sa ano sa fuel consumption ninyo why? ganito yan when um, na, na mention ko kasi di ba electronic uh, side siya or part siya ng pagbablang so when your EGR operates na detect ng ECU mo yan na merong nagfo-flow na NOx uh, when you say NOx yung exhaust gas bumabalik sa intake manifold mo so that is already a byproduct byproduct of fuel and air mixture kumbaga ayun na yung sunog ng both uh, element na yun eh hindi siya combustible so you need more fuel more air para pasabugin ulit yung NOx na yun para lumabas, well hindi naman again hindi siya 100% lumalabas because you have that cycle ng EGR So, when you plug this and, or when you plug the Munji sa MAF sensor mo, of course, it's 2 degrees, madetect ng ECU mo na your EGR is shut down or nakashut off siya entirely. Uh, ibabalance niya ngayon yung fuel and air mixture since wala ng NOx na nagsicirculate dyan. You don't need more fuel, you don't need more air para to run the engine uh, you need the right amount of air and fuel lang uh, to run the engine so hindi ganun kadami na it will lessen so ayun yung part na makakatipid kayo pagdating sa consumption and of course smooth yung takbo ninyo uh, actually masasuggest ko nga pagka naikabit nyo to you have to clean your intake manifold your EGR para 100% na malinis na siya. And of course, i-discuss natin other way kasi si EGR na lang parati ang may kasalanan na <laughs> bakit dumudumi yung intake manifold natin. Meron pa isang culprit dyan. I-discuss natin yan eventually sa isa nating mga topics. No? Uh, but for now, focus muna tayo kay EGR and how to eliminate yung exhaust going back to your uh, intake manifold. So, that is the other way Um, again, yung isa is the blanking plates That's the mechanical way to eliminate the NOx going back to your uh, intake manifold uh, By the way, kapag yun ang um, method na ginawa ninyo ECU will, st will still think na yung EGR, and your EGR pipe is still working 100% So, gumagalaw si EGR sa loob. Yung solenoid niya, it closes and opens. And of course, yung uh, fuel and mixture ninyo, mataas. Kasi the ECU thinks he has to burn, or it has to burn, uh, the NOx. When you have Munji, or yung EGR delete module natin, 
uh, the EC will think na no need or nakapatay si EGR uh, and you don't need or it doesn't have to emit or use a lot of fuel a lot more uh, more air para uh, pabalikin or pasabugin ulit yung NOx doon sa chamber so basically yun lang naman ng ano niya eh, ang um, ang uh, how it works very simple lang uh, hindi siya direct but it works kasi 6 months ko na rin siyang ginagamit and of course uh, before ko rin siya ginamit uh, it took me some time para magbasa rin ng reviews and all and nakilala natin yung manufacturer ng uh, Moonji mismo sa Australia and um, very accommodating siya he explains everything and doon ko naintindihan lahat and itong in-explain ko sa inyo most of it galing sa kanya so it makes sense and yun lang nagustuhan ko may support kasi from the manufacturer talaga so there um, itong product na to is uh, available locally actually meron tayo nito uh, there are several uh, pieces na dumating uh, yung link sa description makikita nyo how to reach me guys uh, kung gusto mo makilangan kayo or inquire na further information about this uh, just let me know and also ang pinaka importante don't forget to subscribe Okay, so para magkaroon pa tayo ng more videos like this na na ilalabas soon and uh, actually that's it guys thank you for watching <laughs>